Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a ridiculous twirl effect all in Premiere Pro, and uh, it's probably happening to my face right now. It definitely is, isn't it? <laughs> Hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a quick and easy twirl effect all in Premiere Pro. And uh, I haven't found a genuine use for this effect yet apart from just being ridiculous or any kind of comedic value. So if there is a genuine use for video editing and filmmaking, please do let me and everyone else know down below. But anyway, I hope you have fun. I had a lot of fun making this and uh, it's, uh, it's quite ridiculous. Rightio, so we're now in Premiere Pro and you can see I've imported some footage here into the project panel and you can do this by going to File and down to Import or by double clicking in this empty space in the project panel and selecting your footage. And if your windows don't look like this, you can see I'm using the editing workspace and you can set this by going to Window, down to Workspaces and selecting it here. So we can double click on the Film icon and preview the footage here in the Source window. There we go, we have someone smiling. Aw, that's nice. Okay, let's get creative. So we can drag this onto the timeline. We don't have any sequences created already, so it will create us a sequence. We can double click this if we want to rename it. And we have the footage that we can scrub through here. What we're going to do is select our footage, go to the effects panel here, go down to video effects and distort. And we'll scroll down until we find a twirl. Now, this is my Achilles heel. If I start giggling uncontrollably, I do apologize in advance. So we've dragged this onto the footage here and you can go up to effect controls and we now have twirl listed here. So with our footage selected, we can now adjust the angle. So we can click on the number here and drag to the left or the right, or we can just single click and then enter a specific value. And you can see, you can see it gradually distorts the face or whatever photo you've got. So we could do like a something subtle here, like up and around to the right. Now the twirl radius is how much it is going to twirl. So if I move this, you can see here this kind of emanates out from the center. So we've got very subtle. And if I go too far, it will twirl the entire footage so you get kind of the, the black of the workspace as well. So that's a bit too much but we could drag this and do something subtle here. We can go back and adjust the angle and twirl that around. So essentially by adjusting the twirl, <laughs> by adjusting the twirl radius, we are increasing or decreasing the area that's going to be affected by the twirl. So we'll keep it nice and low, we'll go for 15. And the twirl center is the position. So you can see here, I'm twirling around this space here. This number on the left is the X axis, that's the horizontal axis. That looks, that's pretty cool. So that is the X axis, and this is the Y axis on the right, this is the vertical one. So we're moving up and down, or left and right. So we'll keep it around the center of the face there, something like this. Now what we can also do is just scrub to the beginning. <laughs> Let's just play through this first. Oh, that is just brilliant. Okay, so we'll go back to the beginning. Let's get even more creative. We're going to throw down some keyframes. So we'll start with, well, let's set it back to zero. And press return. We'll bring the radius down to 15. And we'll just drop a couple of keyframes down on the angle and the twirl radius. You can just about see those keyframes added there. So essentially we're defining a start point. We're gonna start with no angle and no twirl radius. So the effect will pretty much be non-existent. If we scrub forward a little bit, so you can see we've gone forward about six seconds or so, what we'll do is we'll increase the angle here and we'll increase the radius. So we'll just click and drag this to the right. Bring this down. So I can scrub through this now. And you can see as the video footage plays, the amount of twirl, and you can see those numbers going up here on the left, is increasing. So it starts from zero and goes all the way up to 73 degrees on the angle and 16 on the twirl radius. In fact, we could even drag the twirl radius up even more. Something like this. We'll go for 26. 
go back to the beginning, press play, and you can gradually see that twirl effect get more and more extreme. Now this is, uh, essentially you could look at this and say this is pretty useless, but there are a lot of YouTubers out there that do use this for comic effect, and if, uh, if you're like me and you're quite childish, then uh, <laughs> it can be a lot of fun. Oh, that's just brilliant. And there we go. That was how to create a twirl effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Slightly ridiculous, bit of fun, but there we go. If you have a genuine use for this effect, please do let me and everyone else know down below in the comments. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.